welcome. Today I am sharing my tablescape for Mother's Day brunch. I am so excited for this video because my friend Antoinette from the channel Simply a Cheek came up with this wonderful idea and she gathered up a group of really talented ladies here on YouTube and we're all going to share with you ideas whether it's decor, tablescapes, recipes, all about Mother's Day. Mother's Day is going to be very different for a lot of us this year, but these are the little things that can still make it special and memorable. So if anything, I really hope you can get some ideas that will bring you some joy on Mother's Day. I've put a link to the playlist for this collaboration in my description box, and I really hope you will stop by and check out Antoinette and the rest of the ladies on this collaboration. I cannot wait to see everything they've put together for us. So let me show you how I put together this family style tablescape for Mother's Day brunch. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start by laying down my table runner. I fell in love with this French table runner I saw on the Pottery Barns website and I decided to DIY my own. I'm using an old drop cloth and I'm just cutting it or ripping it rather down to size and when you start ripping it, it kind of starts fraying on its own. And then all I did was I continued to fray it until I was happy with how it looked. Whether I'm serving food on a buffet or family style, I always start thinking about what we're gonna eat and once I decide on the menu I can start selecting all of my serveware and uh, since this is family style I'm going to just play around with the placement making sure everything fits and this is a great opportunity to let the food do the decorating for you think about using all of your favorite wooden boards and platters and just making it look really beautiful so once all of the serveware is laid out on the table, I can start thinking about adding some more decorative elements. I usually go for smaller arrangements, kind of nestled in between the food, but it's Mother's Day, so I wanted to have a nice full arrangement that made more of a statement. So um, today I'm using one of my favorite tricks when I don't have access to fresh flowers. I love mixing artificial flowers with real branches. I have a couple of trees in my backyard and I just went outside and snipped off a couple of branches and came up with this arrangement using my um, artificial tulips uh, mixed in with different branches from my backyard. settings I'm using my everyday IKEA placemats and on top of that I'm layering it with these chargers that was actually a craft project that I did with my kids they helped me decorate these um, Dollar Tree chargers with some wrapping paper dishes and these napkins with the fringe detail complete the place settings. This recipe for Colombian pan de bono or cheesy bread is probably the easiest bread I've ever made. It requires no kneading, no resting time. You just mix the ingredients together and throw it in the oven. They're made with tapioca flour and corn flour and they're naturally gluten free, but you'll never guess because they are so delicious. Okay. 
eggs. Always start with sauteing some onions and garlic. I'm adding cherry tomatoes and some sun-dried tomatoes. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching. I want to remind you to check out the playlist for the rest of the videos on this Mother's Day Tablescape collaboration. And I'll see you guys on my next video.